For some, time passes slowly. An hour can seem an eternity. For others, there's never enough. For the Tux, it didn't exist. Time is like a wheel, turning and turning, never stopping. And the woods are the center, the hub of the wheel. It began the first week of summer, a strange and breathless time when accident or fate bring lives together, when people are led to do things they've never done before. On this summer's day, not so very long ago, the wheel set lives in motion in mysterious ways. It set May Tuck out in her wagon for the village of Tree Gap to meet her two sons, as she did once every ten years. worn out from being cold so much. Come inside this instant. You're getting filthy. Ow, I can scarcely breathe. Il faut souffrir pour être belle. You must suffer to be beautiful, so say the French. The French are crazy. For Winnie Foster, one thing was true. The heat of summer was not nearly as stifling as the formality of her life. With every passing day, the feeling grew stronger. She was coming closer to the end of something and moving towards the beginning of something new. Change was in the air. It was only a question of when. Wait for me in the car, I won't be a minute. In the car, Mr. No, 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 no. Too large for tea cakes. None of these will do. I prefer petty fools. What kind of a funny hat is that? Well, looky here. It's not Miss Moneybags in her fancy car. What's the matter? Don't want to get your feet dirty? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Foster. Not much call for such treats out here. Uh, well, I could just make them up for you special. <laughs>
Thing to do. Yeah, I'm not killing for two lifetimes. Somebody's on to us. I know it. This man has been following us. And we've lost him several times, but. Being tracked. Come on, we lost him. Don't go spoiling everything. Yeah, we lost him, Jess. But he keeps coming back. Only well, a matter of time before someone found us. The world is closing in. The entire forest is almost gone. All except this little wood. I saw tire marks down on the low wash a few weeks ago. There'll be more. I don't want anyone going to town. Not for anything, that's that. There's any strangers in the woods getting too close, you know what to do. No exceptions. Never catch one that way. Do you know about catching fireflies? Afraid not, never tried. I prefer bigger game, though I suspect the strategy is much the same. Strategy? One must never announce one's presence to the prey. One must become part of the scenery. Invisible. One must disappear. And be patient. Until the exact right moment arrives. Take a prisoner. For you? No, thank you. You're quite right. Girl of your age to find. Trapping suit is more interesting than trapping insects anyway. Far easier, I might have. Do you live too long? Forever, why? Um I'm looking for some old friends who live hereabouts. Thought you might help me find them. My father practically built tree gap. He knows everyone. Perhaps he can help you. Perhaps. I quite like talking to you. Winifred? Winifred, who are you talking to out there? I don't know. He hasn't told me his name. Good evening, madam. Please forgive my intrusion. This young lady tells me you've lived here forever. I thought she might know of a certain family. It goes by the name of... I hardly know everyone, nor do I want to. And I don't stand outside discussing such a thing with strangers. Then I beg your pardon. Good evening, young lady. Madam. This is why I worry about you, Wilfred. You don't have the sense not to talk to a man like that. A proper education gains one entree into society. Your mother and I have given this a great deal of thought. Miss Hall's Academy for Girls in Pittsfield has an excellent reputation. Miss Hall's... But that's a terrible place. Everyone says so. It's like a jail. Nonsense. 
Girls emerge from there as refined young ladies, well-versed in etiquette and manners, both of which you are sorely lacking. But I don't want to be one of those girls. Which is precisely why you must go. I cannot let your unbridled nature ruin your chances for a respectable future. Winifred, I'm sorry. But we have to do what's best for you. I won't do it. I'm not like those girls. I won't go. Winifred. I won't go. Winnie Foster was to be sent 500 miles away to be educated. But what her parents didn't understand, she only wanted to step just outside her fence. So she did. What in these quiet woods should be so forbidden? Winnie had always sensed a mystery waiting for her there. It was a place so entirely different from what she knew. So far away from her tight pruned world. standing there. Not long at all. I was only walking past and I... You shouldn't be in these parts of the woods. Especially turn around and go home. Well, go on now, get. Excuse me, but I own these woods and I'll go on and get when I want to. You own these woods? Yes, I do. What's your name? Winifred. Winnie. Foster. A Foster? I'll be. Is that a fact? Well, Winnie Foster, like I was saying, you need to turn around and go home. It just so happens that I was on my way home before you made your rude suggestion, and I would be happy to continue on my way if I only knew which way to go. In other words, you're lost? I'll point you home. I'd be much obliged. I want a drink first. What? No. No. What? You don't want that water. But it's poison. I saw you drink some. Well, now I'm feeling sick. You don't look ill. I'm dry as dust. I said, leave it alone. Oh, Holy, my father would have you arrested. What? You're not going to go and tell him now, are you? Uh, hey, come back. Don't run away. So fast, wait! You know what Huck said, Jesse. No exceptions. You can't do this! Stop! Let's go! We can't!
one day. Just waiting for me, I expect. I've had it a long, long time. Oh. Oh. I put my baby boys to bed with it every night. Give them such sweet dreams. I'm sure my boys didn't mean any harm. Then why did they bring me here this way? Why am I here? You have every right to be upset. And I know your family must be worried sick about you. Where's the child? She's no child, Angus. Foster, this is my husband, Angus Tuck. Angus, meet Miss Foster. Hello, Miss Foster. This is the most important event that's taken place in this house in 80 years. You hungry? Oh, well, let's let all oh, eat. Me. Your father will have cut down the entire forest the way things are changing around here. Make himself a very rich man. Oh, now let's not ruin a perfectly good meal. With all the talk. My father has plenty of money. He'll pay anything you want. We don't want your father's money, Miss Foster. Then let me go home. We will. We'll let you go home. Just like I promised. Directly. We need to be able to trust her first before we send her back to her folks. Though. Trust her. We can't trust her. Or any normal people. She'll turn on us in a second. She won't. You're a fool. You don't even realize what we've done here. That's your job. I've already wired a description down the main line. He'll keep a lookout. He'll get up a search party. Come, Lord. My wife is certain that this man wearing a yellow suit has something to do with Winifred's disappearance. And Miss Foster says so based on her instincts. Well, maybe you better step in here, Mr. Foster. 
Am I whom you're looking for? I do believe I fit the description. My wife said she saw you talking to my daughter. Yes, I did. She's a charming girl. Full of fire. Perhaps too much. She's gone, is she? Uh, looks like she uh, ran away. Did she know? Somehow I'm not surprised. My daughter did not run away. And I'm not interested in what surprises you, sir. I want to know if you know anything of her whereabouts. No, Mr. Foster, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I do not. I am, quite coincidentally, here in search of someone myself. I'm seeking a family that used to live in these environs. I thought the constable could help me locate them. But ironically, Mr. Foster, your daughter thought you could help. Name of Took, long lost relatives. I, I can't help you. Or are you? At least not now. However, I'd be happy to search your woods for you, Mr. Foster. I'm rather talented at finding people I just might meet with success. Good evening, Constable. Find out what happened to her, Henry. Please. She's our only child. Angus made that cradle. Brought it all the way from Scotland. Oh, it's rocked a few tucks. There you go. Breeze off the lake will keep you cool all night. Boys sleep up in the loft of their home, so you'll have your privacy. Well, of course, it looks painful. It may help you off with it. Oh, honestly, I can't understand why women torture themselves this way. It's no way to live. Do you have a daughter? A granddaughter. And a grandson. Anna? Oh, Maya slept in so. What happened? They died. Their mother, too. I'm afraid the good parts of Miles died along with them. You'll have to forgive what's left of them. I'm sorry. Well, it's, it's the way things are, Miss Foster. Can I call you Winnie? It's a good feeling having another woman here. Try and get some sleep now. Hello? Have you lost your way, friend? Not hardly, Reverend. I'm looking for a family name. Tuck. Are you familiar with it? Tuck. Tuck. I'm afraid I can't help you. There are no tucks in this cemetery that I know of. No, I wouldn't think so. Ah. Or in any other. Tell me, Reverend, you who have attended so many deathbeds, what is it people most desire as they face the end of their lives? More time. Well, I suppose. Exactly. They give. Almost anything I imagine for one more year. Imagine what they give for all eternity. Sir, I don't quite understand what you will. Want. Reverend, are you prepared to die right now, this instant? It's God's will. What if it is my will? What if it could be eternal? Right now, this instant. Without having to face the uncertainty of death. Hmm? You'd like that, wouldn't you? No moss, no fuss. Invincible to disease. Never having to suffer the stench and rot of old age. Forever young. You speak blasphemy, sir. Fluently.
sleep. Not anymore. Good. Hey. How would you like to see the Eiffel Tower? What? Someday. No, now. Well, the day is still ours. Paris? He's pretty tall. Mine's two feet higher. Here. Come on. Have you really seen the real one in Paris? Yes, I have. We climbed 1,652 stairs to the top. Much easier than this. Yes. You doing all right? I think so. You're doing great. Here. If I went to the Eiffel Tower, I would take one of those elevators. Not with me. You take off your shoes and walk up every single solitary step. How old are you? You really want to know? Yes. 104. I'm serious. So am I. Let's just call it 17. There's my Paris. Tower can't be better than this. I've seen a lot of views. This is one of the best. Foster was beginning to lose track of time. Had she been there a day, a week, a month? It seemed to Winnie that the Tufts lived in a way the rest of the world had forgotten. They were never in a hurry and did things the slow way. First time Winnie felt free to explore, to ask questions, to play. world. Every speck of it. Heck, I may even find some new continents or something. I mean, I've been to a lot of places, but the world is huge. 
Jesse, tell us, what, what are you doing? What does it look like? I don't like being laughed at by a cheat. A cheat's a nasty word, sir. I much prefer card show. <laughs> you are looking for trouble, aren't you, mister? Yes, sir. I sure am. This is the most melancholy sound in all of nature. Listen. Just listen. They're playing for you.
wish this moment could last forever. Forever? You want to spend forever with me, Winnie? I do. You know, we could see the world together. We could do everything together. Have a million moments like this one that never, never stop. There's a part about us you don't know. The part I've sworn not to tell you. The secret? The reason you don't want anyone to find out about you? I knew it. You're, you're bank robbers or drifters. You are the first human I've ever met I wanted to know the truth. Jesse Tuck. You're the first human I've ever met that I've ever wanted to... to... to do that. Remember the giant oak tree at the center of the wood where we met? The little spring bubbling up you saw me drink from. Do you remember when I told you I was 104 years old? Well, it's the honest truth. I'm gonna live forever. I'm never gonna change. The same with Miles and Tuck and May. Something happened to us. As far as I know, I'm... I'm gonna be 17 until the end of the world. It's the spring, Winnie. The water, something's wrong with it. It stops you right where you are. If you had a drink of it today, you'd stay just like you are. Don't you wish he'd told you? Before you kissed him? Did he tell you immortality isn't all the preachers crack it up to be? Hey, leave her alone, Miles. Oh, no. You wanted to hear it, Jesse boy. She's the first person you want to tell the truth to. You just don't want me to have what you lost. Stop this. Both of you. And tell me the truth. I want to know. We all had a drink. Except for the cat. That's important. The water tasted like... Head. Floated over your tongue like a cloud. Tuck carved a T in the trunk. Mark where we'd been. We moved on west, looking for a place to settle down. Put up a house for me and Tuck, a little shade for Jesse and me. That was the first time we figured there was something peculiar. Jesse fell 30 feet, landed right on his neck. He was up on his feet again before making work up a good cry. Didn't hurt him a bit, no broken bones. Nothing. That's not all. Not by a long shot. Things began to happen. Some brush poppers mistook May's horse for a deer. Thing is, the bullets didn't kill him. Barely even left a mark. Then Tuck got bitten by a rattlesnake. You know what? He didn't die. <laughs> but the cat did. From old age. Miles got married. I figured it early on. This is spring. We all drank from it, even the horse. It had to be. The source of our changelessness. I begged her to come back. I mean, find the spring and drink from it. The children, too, is our only hope. Be together.
She made up her mind. I sold my soul to the devil. And she left me. She took my babies with her. Everyone pulled away after that. There was talk of witchcraft, black magic. I went looking for wars to fight. I saw brave men die in Vera Cruz. And then Gettysburg. By the thousands in the blink of an eye. But not me. I couldn't die. Like little Anna. The influenza took her before she was 15. And Bo. He'd be almost 80 now if you're still alive. My sweet. My sweet young bride. She died in an insane asylum. Old and alone. But I'm still here. I'm still here. Foster, you're the only other person in the world who knows about us. We'll have to have a talk. Your life is never the same. You were once a child. Now you are about to become a woman. One day you'll grow up. You'll do something important. You'll have children, maybe. And then one day, you'll go out. Just like the flame of a candle, you'll make way for a new life. That's a certainty. That's a natural way of things. And then there's us. What we talks have, you can't call it living. We just... Like rocks stuck at the side of a stream. Listen to me. Wendy, you know the dangerous secret. If people find out about the spring, they'll trample all over each other to get to that water. There's one thing I've learned about people. Many will do anything, anything not to die. And they'll do anything to keep from living their life. Do you want to stay stuck as you are right now, forever? Just got to make you understand. I don't want to die, is that wrong? No. No human does. But it, it's part of the wheel. The same as being born. You can't have living without dying. Don't be afraid of death, Winnie. Be afraid of the unlived life.
She's with them now. I came directly here knowing how tormented you must be. We've just sworn her back safely. Of course you do. Dreadful business, kidnapping. Fortunate I was witness. I'm perhaps the only person who knows where to find her. Just, what is your game, sir? What is my game? You detected me a playful mood. Playful is not the word I had in mind. What I have in mind is a simple, clear-cut trade. You see, I very much like your woods. Not for their timber, mind you. But for their national assets. But what is it you want? You want your daughter. I want your woods. You're involved in this, aren't you? If you have touched my daughter! I have my faults, Mr. Foster. Kidnapping is not amongst them. These are rough people, the ones who took her. I'm not telling what they might do. Unless we do what you say. Give the man whatever he wants. Done and done. Nice to have things legal and tidy. Don't you agree? You're an intelligent, reasonable man, Mr. Foster. You saw them wrong as a judge of character. Have your friendly constable on hand to make the appropriate arrests. The terrible ordeal is as good as over. I'll get there before you. We have to move quickly. They were packing to leave. What kind of horrible people must these kidnappers be? There is evil in the world, Mr. Foster. And there aren't fences high enough to keep it out. Bring your men directly to my house. I'm going with you. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting such a tender moment. Hello, Winifred. Everyone's been so worried about you. I'm relieved to find you so well. You know this man? I met him once. Hello, Mr. Tuck. You've no idea what a pleasure it is to meet you. Tell the man who's been following my voice. It's been escaping you. Yes, and here I am. Tell me, is it a relief to finally be discovered? Over a century of hiding out must have taken its toll on you. Who are you? And how do you know so much about us? I first heard about your family from my grandmother. She knew a woman in a mental facility who used to rant and ramble about a family who never grew old and never died. This woman, she used to call out a name. What was it now? Anna. Crazy old woman. Kept on talking about a music box. It seems the melody had a calming effect on her children. I'm sure you know it, Mrs. Tuck. You have no right to come to our home and bring us such pain. There. Good mother. You mean no harm. Tell us, sir. What is it you want? Well, you see, the Fosters have given me these woods in exchange for bringing young Winifred back home to them. I have the papers, all signed and legal. Gives me the rights to the forest and everything in it. Now, don't be alarmed. I'll let you stay here on my land. You prove cooperative. Cooperative? I want you to take me to the spring. I don't know what you mean. Don't insult me, Mr. Tuck. It's immediately clear to me that the water's powers have been wasted on only matters of people like you. I intend to make this fountain of youth, as the simpletons would call it, available to those who deserve it. For a price, of course. You'll die of old age. I'll take you. 
chimed the hour. Outside, the wind was still. Everything, it seemed, was waiting. I just want to understand what happened. Honey, try, please. They didn't kidnap me. I was with them because I wanted to be. She doesn't know what she's saying. The Tucks were kind to me. They're my friends. But if they didn't kidnap you, why on earth did that woman club that man over the head with a shotgun? Because May Tuck was protecting me. Doesn't matter anyway. That fella died. It's a murder charge now. I didn't much like the man, but that won't stop that poor woman from hanging. Miss is an eyewitness. She'll have to testify. Oh, my God. I figured you might want this. It doesn't exist, as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure I'm sorry about all this. Good day. Thank you.
Alright. Alright. Bobby, you have to stop them. They're after me. This, this, who's after you? The people who kidnapped me. They're gonna take me away again. My parents are gonna stop them. They're right outside. You have to stop them. Please. Help. They'll kill me if they find me. Please, you're gonna kill me. Please. Stay right there. forever. If she comes with us, they'll hunt us down. They'll never stop looking. Tuck is right. If I go with you, it'll be too dangerous for all of you. I can't go without you. You have to. Go back to the spring. Drink from it. When it's safe, I'll come back for you. I have to show you the Eiffel Tower, don't I? 1,652 steps in the top. Yeah. Until we're together again. Wake up with the dawn. Well... We gotta go. Before it's too late. God, we commend the soul of our sister to and we commit the body to the earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And she would have served the hope of the resurrection of the eternal life of Lord Jesus Christ. At his coming, in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in them shall be changed. Mm -hmm. I 
was just wondering what it is about these woods you love so much. Mother, are you all right? I'm going to miss her, too. Oh. Every time I look at you, you're different. I'm losing you, too. Talks have you can't call it living. We just oh, we're like rocks stuck in the side of a stream. The first weeks of summer were long over. There was a feeling that the wheel was turning again. Slowly now, but soon to go faster. Winnie and her family left Tree Gap to see the world. She wasn't certain what her journey might bring, but this much she knew. It would be something of her own choosing. For some, time passes slowly. An hour can seem an eternity. For others, there's never enough. For Jesse Tuck, it didn't exist. said it to Winnie the summer she turned 15. Do not fear death, but rather the unlived life. You don't have to live forever. You just have to live. And she did. <laughs> 